Konnichiwa YouTubers, it's Rest Talk straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Metroid The Other M Samusaran from Figma. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box and you can see in there Metroid The Other M. Figma series, Samusaran number 133, Metroid Other M. Awesome, here's the side of the box. Very classic looking figure. I like that. Very, very classic. Classic. Okay, that's the front. Posable, big figure. I like it. It's very solid. It's bigger than most Figmas, actually. So this is one good thing about that. It's just a scale. After all, the girl is six foot three. So most of the Japanese people are five foot four for females, anyways. So it is to scale. It's a six-inch figure. Definitely bigger. And you can def put her in some dynamic poses. And this is one thing I wanted to show you. It is only for sale in Japan. So it's kind of neat. You can still get them here. It's just a little bit more expensive. Not bad, probably like 50 bucks still, so that's cool. This is the 2012 version, not the re-release. Because back in the day, if you wanted to get this girl, yeah, it cost a bundle. And I got her with a nice little plasma shoot shot over here. So come with a few accessories. And one thing is that once that pops off, one of these accessories is over here, the little scanner. So might as well pop that out. I like it because here it is with scanning. But let me show you the accessories we got. We got two extra pairs of hands, splayed open, grips, thumbs up. Ooh, I like thumbs up. Changing is relatively easy, and one of the things I don't like is that the joints are rather small for the hands, so I don't like that. I already showed you the plasma shot, so we got two sizes, single shot, you got the single shot and double shot there, so. sturdy and I like it that she can morph into a ball and definitely not to scale definitely not to scale because I can't believe that little body is going to compress like that so yeah but then again if I had a ball to scale it would be huge and it'll cost drive production cost and this thing's 50 bucks but I think it's worth it it's really nice you can't get it here without some exorbitant charges you can get Oh, I forgot about the Figma stand. As you can see, it does come with a Figma stand. So yeah, you can get them inside dynamic poses. Oh, this thing is top heavy. <laughs> what well, it is, what it is. So there you go. Very nice, very nice. I like the figure, very detailed figure. So let's take a look at it. First thing I want to mention is over here is that the helmet is not translucent, it's painted on, but it's absolutely gorgeous. The detail here, the speckles on the chest over here, very nice. The green, neon green. This is from other amps, so I don't know how it varies. Like the copper gold here, or the copper finish here, the green definitely complements that tone. Nice little gold finish. I like the hips over here, how it tries to maintain some seamless fashion back jetpack over here very beautiful red coloring it's gorgeous and this is of course the little figma stand and this is the thing figmas yeah they go all out articulation not bad for what it is it is after all a robot suit so we got that not too much on the head it is on a ball joint but it is limited because but because of the visor good coloring gum metal gray Shoulders are kind of weird. You can see a gap in there. And I think it's just, there's two joints. I don't know if you can tell, but one for the shoulder pad moves so it allows some movement, and one for the other shoulder, or the shoulder itself. So it allows movement. No bicep swivel, double jointed on the elbow, which is really nice, it's a Figma joint, swivel. And these, the hands are just gorgeous, very well displayed. Only thing is, I don't like is how easy they pop off. They pop off relatively easy, which is good, I guess, for interchanging it. So we'll give a good thumbs up for that. Torso articulation, very good, very nice. Looks like it's just on a swivel or double or that Figma joint. Looks like it can come off easy. All right, up oh, ball jointed. I didn't expect that, but I think because of that, we do have some thigh swivel. So these joints. 
do allow it to move. Very good movement over here. No upper upper swivel, little bit. Double jointed knee with good amount of flex. Good amount. Not that pointy here, but I gotta gotta point out. No pun intended. That these are really sharp, really sharp. So be careful when you handle that. The back of the boot, yeah, really sharp. Figma joint swivel here, so it allows for a good swivel. Also, didn't even notice that ankle swivel, and of course the little trademark Figma step, whatever that's called. So very good articulation, and Figma is well known for that. And that's why I really dig this figure. It's 50 bucks. It's kind of basic. Doesn't have that much but it really doesn't need that much. So let me go ahead and interchange that. So you want to put them, so we want to put them in good poses right here. You can like, hey, I'm getting ready to fire this thing. No problem. It just quickly interchanges. I want to get the double shot over here. Pop that in right here. Yeah, there we go. So, bam, awesome. Like, yeah, you're gonna get ready to go. Let me use a Figma stand for, there it is, the ball again. She morphs them to a ball, it's kinda neat. I just wanted to go ahead and take a look at that. Awesome. So, see if I can recreate this dynamic scene. Uh, now the Figma stand is not gonna support her. Not big enough for that. And that's okay. That's okay. Really good, really good figure. One of, uh, like I said, it's worth the 50 bucks. Extremely good detail. Yeah, normally I won't say pay 50 bucks for a Figma, but hey, it is really nice. Really nice. Let's give it a little size comparison. This is a Megatron. She is a six inch figure. So, just to show you. Very nice, slightly bigger than your normal Figma, which is usually about Megatron size. Alright, that's all I got, YouTubers, and I catch you all next time. Oh yeah, eight and a half out of ten.